Bones and All is the new Luca, I don't know how to pronounce his last name film. A lot of people were really excited for this. This movie just kind of snuck up on my radar. I checked out Call Me By Your Name a couple months ago. I thought it was an excellent film. You can check out my small review on Letterboxd for, for that. I don't think I typed out too much for it. But overall, I thought it was a very excellent film. He was following it up um, with a movie about cannibals and I was on board f with that <laughs> and I checked it out a couple days ago and it was pretty solid. I thought it was a really good film. It's definitely in the top 10 of this year. I thought this movie was quite riveting actually for the type of film that it is for the slow burn character study type film. I didn't necessarily expect this movie to grip me but this movie actually did grip me. This is the condensed way of describing this film is a very messed up nomad land and it's kind of like road trip romance film with cannibals. There's nothing really quite like this movie. You will never find a movie like this in existence. It is gruesome. It is filled with heart. It's disgusting. It's a little bit of everything. It's funny at moments. It has a weird kind of charm to it and even though these characters are cannibals they tell you in a perspective how and why they are cannibals they explain it in a way where you're a tad apathetic towards them a lot of people might have some problems with that cannibalism can also be seen as a metaphor for many other things because they really address cannibalism as it's they can't help it like obviously um this director is very familiar with um other stories like as in the Call Me By Your Name, which is obviously two guys that they want to be together, but they just can't because they are not brave enough to do so. So a lot of those themes are they're applied here as well. So there's obviously themes that a lot of people really connect with in that type of way. And so I hope a lot of people don't take this at face value and be like, people are supporting cannibals now. That's not it at all. It's the message behind it that I feel like people are connecting to. And of course, when it comes to something cannib with cannibalism, like something really that horrible, and they feel really bad about it, and it takes place like in the 90s, you can really feel that pain that the characters go through just by trying to hold back from eating people. And yes, it doesn't, it doesn't glorify it in a way of like, oh, they're hungry, they want to eat people. They really show it in a very interesting and fascinating way. Yeah, the standout with this movie, uh, Mark Rylance, Without a doubt, is Mark Rylance in this movie gave one of my favorite performances in a movie in a very long time. He was so menacing. And that is so funny to say because you see Mark Rylance and like you see him in the trailers. He has feathers on his hat and he looks old and weird. He is scary in this movie. I don't want to get into spoilers, but the way that they evolve his character, the way he's just integrated into the story... It's so dark and it's so messed up, but Mark, and you wouldn't think it would work that well with Mark Rylance, but he makes it work and he makes it work better than any actor could. He was just perfect in this movie. Honestly, if he wasn't in this movie, I don't know what score I'd be giving this because I'm giving this movie quite a high score. He was such a steam stealer. I wanted to see more of him. I could watch a whole movie of him. His dialogue, the way he delivers it, the way how menacing it can be at sometimes, how comical it can be and border that line so well. It, it's very well done. And to be quite honest, as of right now, I want to say it's one of the best performances in a film that I've ever seen. I hope he, I hope he gets an Oscar nomination for this, though I doubt it based off the predictions I've been seeing and just what the Oscars usually go for. I don't see them going for a film like this, to be honest. Maybe this could get screenplay. We'll see. Timothy Chalamet is in this movie, and he's pretty good. I think I liked him in Call Me By Your Name just a little bit more. Um, this movie, he plays a little bit more of a reserved character. Well, he is a king at playing reserved characters, but and this movie is definitely a more quiet character that he plays, and I do think I maybe want to see a little bit more of him because he's definitely not the lead of this movie. He's definitely the supporting supporting character. He's definitely second up in line for the lead, but um, the lead in this film follows this um, one girl. Do I remember the character's name? No. Do I remember the actress's name? No, I do not. I am sorry. But she was excellent in the movie, and I like the way her character journey played out, and I think it was very fascinating the way they took her character, what approach they went with it, and it was just, it, it was a very human story for someone that's so different. So I, I really liked her journey and the way that um, Timothy Chalamet's character kind of fit into that and the way that they kind of fit together, even though um, they are both cannibals. <laughs> it, it, it was a movie, I'll say that. It was a movie. The 
there are scenes, yes, we see people get eaten, and it is, it is gross. <laughs> I don't bring popcorn for this one. I didn't, and that was a smart move, because, like, when this movie ended, I, I felt gross. <laughs> put it, I gave it its score, put it on my letterbox, and I was like, I feel gross for putting this movie that high, even though that is my opinion on this film. Like I said, I really like this movie. I think it's a great character study. I think it's a cannibalism serves as a great metaphor for a lot of things that people could really relate to. Uh, I feel weird even saying that, particularly when it comes to something that you don't want people to know, something that you're trying to hide. Obviously, with the modern day world that we're in, something a lot of people could connect to personally. And I hate saying that because it's cannibalism, but the way that this movie portrays it, it is the way that the filmmakers definitely intended it to be. Yeah, I'm going to give Bones and All a 9.1 out of 10. We're in the heat of award season right now, so of course it seems like I'm giving all of a sudden all these movies really good scores, but it's award season. This is the time where they put out our Oscar films, our great movies that we nominate for Best Picture. So of course, this is that time of year where it feels like I'm giving out 9 point this, 9 point this, 8.5. Even though throughout the year, if you look at the rest of my videos, I'm like 7, 6, 9. Seven, eight, you know. Comment down below if you guys checked out Bones and all. Did you guys have the stomach for it? If it wasn't eaten by Timothy Chalamet. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.